Ryan, you're here at WPA TV, but you're not going to be in Connecticut much this summer at all because you are becoming a hot commodity. Tell us about it. Yeah. No, I have the tour coming up um, pretty soon. I'll be leaving in June, and, um, and pretty much from, from there on out, I'll be on the road, you know, and um, just doing, uh, doing the big fairs and festivals um, across the uh, United States and into Canada. Is this the first time you've actually done a country tour across the US? Yeah, this is like the first, you know, getting my feet wet, you know, getting out there kind of thing. I started doing a lot of local festivals and stuff over the last couple of years, doing the live event murals. And, um, and now, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hitting the road and, and just getting, getting my stuff out there to everybody. A lot of these big uh, state fairs and, and festivals and, and whatnot that are, that are having me, um, they are, uh, you know, putting me up with accommodations. Uh, so they're trying to make it as easy as possible for me to get out to their location and to, you know, to do my art. Mm -hmm. You know, I just go from one to the next. Okay. Um, do you know what you're doing at every location so far? In terms of the actual art, have well, you planned I know, out the pieces? Or yeah, I know the style that I'm going to be working with because I'm going to be working with a specific style, somewhat similar to what I'm doing here at the, at the you know, for the WPA TV building. Um, but I don't know the specific content for every single one just yet. I'm still in the works, getting everything designed, and it's just it's a lot of um, it's a lot of work in advance. People don't really get that. They think, well, you know, he came out and he did this awesome mural for us, but no, it's it's a, it's a lot it's a lot of, of prep work. Prior to that, I work alone for er pretty much everything that I do. Um, you know, if I need assistance on, on large-scale projects, um, you know, I, I know guys that, that that are more than happy to help me out, and I have a close crew of guys um, that I work with um, when I'm doing graffiti art. Um, so, you know, those are my brothers, and I'll get them out there if, if necessary to help me out. But for the most part, um, I just do everything myself. You know? What hooked you on this? natural elements, frogs and tigers and, and birds and apples and... It's a good question. Um, realistically, you know, um, who doesn't love wildlife and animals? You know, it's just um, kids, parents, you know, adults, I, I mean, just in general, just everybody loves, you know, seeing that kind of stuff. And it's, it's, it's awesome to do that in a photorealistic manner, especially on such a large scale. And I mm -hmm. think you don't see that that often. Um, and that's why I want to push the limits and, 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 and go as big as possible with these, you know, with, with, with the subject matter that I'm working with. How about how you prepared yourself in life to become this, you know, a graffiti artist, but actually a true fine arts artist? Did you go to school for fine arts? I, mean, I didn't prepare myself in, in a sense. I, it just came to me. I've just been doing art all my life. I didn't go to art school for it. Uh, I actually got a degree in horticulture, believe it or not. Um, and uh, but but just pursued this passion, you know, when 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 I when I realized, wow, you know, I could really make a living doing this, you know, and I could make a career out of this, and it just kind of came out of nowhere. I never really planned it, um, but um, but I've always been doing art, you know, all my life, and, and I, you know, it, it's it's always come naturally. Wow, great way to start the project here with this interview, uh, yes. Ryan. Um, how how does it feel to be doing something? in your hometown. This is like one of the very first and all of anybody that knows me, my fans, my family, friends, how come you have nothing in Wallingford? <laughs> you know, you've lived here all your life, you know, we, we're always looking for things of yours, we, we don't see anything in our own town and, and it's, uh, I don't have an answer for you, you know, I, I'm, I'm very excited to be doing something right here on my home turf, be able to, to, to drive right by it, you know, in the future and be able to see it. And, um, enjoy it and I'm excited. Well we at WPA are excited as well that um, we have the opportunity to have something local media artists that will bring people to the building and share what we do and share what you do at the same time. And I just I wanted to do something that was just going to be so vibrant and just so you know just captivating um, and that's you know that's kind of where I, I, I came with the idea of the tiger. Um, and yeah, and it's siding. And you would think, like, I'm just going to paint on, on siding, on, you know, like uh, regular residential, you know, siding. Uh, the, the beauty of spray paint is you can pretty much paint on anything. And, um, you know, I mean, you, you kind of have to have an understanding of, of ha how to work with, with, with these obstacles and whatnot and, and get the hang of things over time. But that's what practice is for. And, um, and yeah, I, I, said, I said pretty much, you know, bring it. You know, I'm excited to, to do it and, you know, obstacle or not. 
uh, this was an obstacle for the WPAA board because we never expected to see this side of the building. So to transform it into something like totally awesome. Um, that's why we came up with the slogan, powerful, wild, and free. Do you think that your picture is hitting it with powerful, wild, and free? Of course, of course. And I'm glad that we were able to kind of pull, you know, symbolism out of, uh, out of the, the, you know, the actual content that I'm going to be working with. I think that's awesome.